What's up guys this is Shukesh Bunny once again and today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and hands on of this Micromax Canvas Spark 2. Well this is probably the cheapest phone I have ever reviewed in this channel and I'm quite curious to see how such a low price device handles the OS and the apps. As you can see on the box there is a 5 inches IPS panel and regional languages support. That is Indian languages of course and though the price on the box is 5199 you can get this phone at unbelievable 3999 rupees that is around 60 US dollars. You will also get 500 MB of 2G or 3G data for 2 months and 10 Indian languages support. There is also a marketplace called AppBuzzer. Well the Canvas Spark 2 is available only on Snapdeal in India. I have added a Snapdeal link in the description below. You can check that out and it's worth mentioning here you will be charged 100 rupees extra for shipping. There you get the specs, quite decent actually for the price. I'll discuss all of this in this review so be with me. Looks like Micromax is gonna launch this phone in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal and Russia. Last but not the least, the model name of the phone is Q334. Well enough with the box, now let's get started with the unboxing and check the device itself. There you go guys, the all new Micromax Canvas Spark 2 and let's first peel off the sticker. The glass is actually very shiny and the front look of the phone is damn good. I am actually quite surprised didn't expect such a good looking phone. Especially the rubberized back cover is feeling great in hand and the material used on the exterior doesn't seem cheap. Overall I am quite pleased with the exterior design of the phone. I don't think anyone can tell the price of this device just by looking at it. Well first let's dig into the box and check the accessories. Well first of all you get the USB to micro USB charging cable which also works as the data cable and the build quality of the cable seems quite decent. This black cable won't get dirty very easily as well. Next you get the earphones and again surprisingly the ear tips are of in ear type and the build quality seems excellent for the price of the phone. I really hope that the sound quality is as good as it looks. The 3.5mm jack is not gold plated but don't worry this won't hamper the sound quality that much. The remote consists of a push button for answering or ending calls and there is a microphone hole as well. Overall totally satisfied with the quality of the headset. Next you get the charging adapter. Not too large or too small. The charger is solidly built and the output rating is 5 volt 700 mA. So don't expect this to charge your phone super fast. The USB port is at the side of this brick so this might interfere with other cables in your switchboard. Well the battery on this phone is of 1800 mAh and considering the specs of the phone, you can expect at least 1.5 days of backup on normal to heavy uses. I'll talk about this in the full review of this phone so subscribe and keep in touch. There you get the booklets as usual. The Mimicro Max download information, some canvas tab promo card and the SAR information, the warranty card and of course the user guide. There is a scratch guard comes free with the phone as well. As there is no Corning Gorilla Glass protection, this scratch guard is very handy. You also get a microfiber cloth and a card for applying this scratch guard. So really nice. That's all inside the box, now let's get rid of this mess here and have a quick look at the device itself. Well guys, first of all I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the exterior, then I'll dig into the software that is the interface, the applications and the RAM storage, CPU, GPU etc. So be with me. Now first of all the phone is quite slick and the dual tone bezel is giving a premium look to this phone. At this moment only black color variant of Canvas Spark 2 available in the market. At the front you get a 5 inches IPS panel with FWVG that is 480 by 854 pixels resolution at 196 ppi. I'll talk about the quality of this display later on in this review. Just above the display you'll find the ear speaker grill, the front facing 2 megapixel camera, the proximity ambient light sensors and an LED notification light. The front camera can record VGA quality videos. The rear 5 megapixel camera is also fixed focus and can record HD videos. Fortunately this camera is coupled with an LED flash. 
The top of the phone consists of the micro USB port and the 3.5mm headphone jack. At the bottom you will find only the microphone hole. At the left bezel of the phone you will find the volume rocker and the power key. Both the keys are textured. There is absolutely nothing on the right side. The loudspeaker of the phone is placed at the back and the navigation keys are on the body just below the display. So these won't eat up space on the screen. Now let's remove the back cover and check what's underneath. Now this is a dual SIM device and interestingly the SIM 1 slot takes micro SIM and SIM 2 slot takes mini SIM. This phone is also 3G enabled supporting 21 Mbps downloading and 5.76 Mbps uploading speed. There is also a micro SD card slot supporting up to 32 gig cards. As you know the internal storage is only 4 gig so this might help. The SAR information is mentioned here and it's far below the limit. Now let's install the battery, switch on the device and show you the display and of course the interface. Guys these are the 10 Indian languages supported. You can not only type and send messages in your regional languages, the whole phone's language can be switched to any of these. The interface on this phone is called Fast Touch and it's very very simple very handy especially for elderly people and the phone is actually teaching us the basics of this interface so that's nice. Well, the interface seems quite interesting and very very handy. It's worth mentioning the loudspeaker is also decently loud and clear. There you go guys, the first touch launcher on your canvas Spark 2. Well, the first thing you notice here is the huge icons. Not just because of the low PPI but the interface is made so for better access. There is no separate app store just like iOS. Well, before I discuss about the interface, let's first have a close look at the display here. In 2015, 196 ppi is not considered great but just 2 years ago devices in the 20,000 rupees category had actually lower ppi than this. I'm talking about Galaxy Grand and that phone was sold like hotcakes. As you know, 180 ppi is considered threshold for human eye. You can of course see the pixels if you look from a very shorter distance but from 1 feet distance you are not probably going to complain. Considering the price of this device I think the display is good enough. You should not be that much concerned about. To give you a better idea about the color rendering let me show you some colorful wallpapers. As you know this is an IPS panel and the colors are looking quite punchy saturated and the brightness level of the screen is actually not as high as a typical IPS panel you are used to see. So you might face some problems in bright daylight, otherwise the display quality seems quite pleasant. There are a few live wallpapers preloaded as well. Though from this distance I can see the pixels, they are actually quite sharp and crisp, making the screen look more pleasant to eyes. Now the interface is basically stock android and the fast touch launcher makes it easier and intuitive. So you won't be missing the swiftness, the responsiveness of the stock android. Let me also show you the keyboard. Well, you are getting on screen instructions, so that's good. Nowadays, 5 inch screens are considered standard for flagships, and you can easily type with one hand without any issue. Now, I'll show you all the tricks related to this keyboard in the full review of this phone, so keep in touch, guys. The video will be uploaded as soon as possible. I also want to quickly check the camera as well. Let's bring a subject. 
well as you know the rear camera is fixed focus and most of the fixed focus cameras actually cannot properly capture close subjects because the minimum focusing distance is actually very low interestingly this camera has the premium object tracking feature that is just tap and hold on the subject and if you move the camera the phone actually tracks the subject now as there is not focus this will help in exposure compensation let's check the images and well the image is looking quite sharp and detailed looks like it's in focus and uh, totally pleased with the quality didn't really expect such good images from this 4000 rupees phone the video capability of the rear camera is 720p and the front facing 2 megapixel camera is VGA. Now let me give you a quick walkthrough of the interface. There you get the Google applications and the first launcher theme. From App Buzzer, you can download applications in your regional languages and you'll find Google Play applications as well as some custom apps here. The next page houses the preloaded as well as the downloaded apps. You are getting lots of added applications or bloatware. Few of these are Micromax's own apps like in my life and SwiftKey keyboard is also available out of the box. You get Hike Messenger, Wellex, Quicker apps and Hotstar as well as the Snapdeal application who is the exclusive seller of this phone in India. The rightmost navigation key brings the settings menu and you can press and hold for multitasking. This is the settings menu of the Fast Touch launcher and you can also go to the system settings from here. In the settings menu, you'll find the dual SIM management that is, you can set the default SIM card for calling, messaging and data. You can also enable adaptive brightness control that is, with the help of the ambient light sensor, the phone can control the brightness automatically. The power saving mode actually disables multitasking and lowers the CPU clock speed for better battery backup. Out of the box, the free storage for the user is 1.73 gig, which is actually not great. So this is something you should be concerned about. But don't forget that there is a micro SD card slot. The RAM on this phone is officially 768 MB and out of the box before installing any application, the free RAM is 414 MB, which is actually quite good, better than I expected. I have seen devices, especially Samsung ones offering 400 or 500 MB of free RAM, despite having 1.5 or 2 GB of RAM, only because of the heavy touches interface. Well, of course, this scenario will change once I install more applications into this Spark 2. Keep in touch for the full review where I'll discuss more about this. Fortunately, this low-cost phone comes with the latest Android OS that is 5.1 Lollipop. Well guys, this is the end of unboxing and hands-on overview of the Micromax Canvas Spark 2. Overall, this is a value for money device. You can consider one for yourself or your parents or grandparents who needs regional language support and bigger icons, better interface and a sturdy phone. For only 4000 rupees, I think this is a great phone to buy. I have added a buying link in the description below. So if you are considering getting one of these, please use that link. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Keep in touch for the full review and don't forget to subscribe.